Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with another video in the Lith Tech tutorial series that I have started. Today we are going to be installing 3ds Max. 3ds Max is a 3D modeling software which you can use to make custom models and animations for the Lith Tech games. And I wanted to make a tutorial today on installing and showing that it does actually work on Windows 10 64 uh, bit. Um, 3ds Max 7. So 3ds Max 7 is the newest version of 3ds Max which has official support from Monolith in the LithTech Jupyter Enterprise installer for uh, exporting LTA files which will be used with tools like Model Edit for creating animated 3D models or World LTA LTC files which you can use for making maps in D-Edit. So this is the tool that I personally put the time into somewhat learning and I'll have an advanced tutorial eventually on converting source engine models to LithTech Jupyter, which just gives us a whole huge library of models that we can use. But for right now, I'm going to show you how to install 3ds Max 7. Uh, the next video will probably be Maya 5.0, alias Wavefront Maya 5.0, because that also is supported. And if it's wanted, it'll probably be very similar to this, but you can also use 3ds Max 3.1, which I also have that. But let's get started with 3ds Max. So first of all, you're going to obviously want to download it from Lith Archive. I am working on an official library page that looks much better than... Um, the one we already have. Uh, let me see if I can pull it up. I'm using, I'm, I'm being really lazy and I'm doing sites.google.com for it. Um, well, I'll show you guys this page. So it is on this page. If you scroll down, you'll see 3ds Max. Um, that's the link up there if you want it. You'll see 3ds Max, I believe, in here somewhere. Uh, maybe not. Maybe I didn't include it. I forgot it. I am sorry about that. But I will have links up soon. I think it was in my Discord. I posted the link. Come on. I just gotta scroll up a little bit. I guess I could do this while it's installing, couldn't I? Oh well, not a big deal. Um, but I'll have a link uploaded eventually. I'm also going to be adding these links to the website itself. But as you can see, we're gonna run the installer. You can thank, I believe it was Demonoid is where I originally found this. Um, but you will want to go through the README. The README has the information like the serial to use for registration and then how to use the key generator. Um, so this is the key generator. This is actually 3ds Max. And then these are some scripts that uh, were provided by the original uploader. So as you can see, we're going to run this. I'm going to go Setup. It's basically a fancy zip file. Fun fact, you could open that EXE with uh, WinRAR, I believe. So what you're going to want to do is put whatever you want here, TechX, TechX, Home, and then change wherever you want it installed. I'm putting all this stuff on my external hard drive for ease of use, um, and then basically slowly making it all portable. And it's just easier for doing this stuff. So 3ds Max install right there okay and then the serial you want to use is that and then a bunch of ones let me see one two three four five six seven eight so eight ones i don't do that and then leave it as standalone and hit next <clears throat> so as you can see that's all going through it doesn't let me change back burner. Um, yeah, it doesn't let you change that at all. So unfortunately, you're just going to have to leave that there. 
click next. It'll go through the installation process. I'm going to try to find that link while it installs. If anything pops up, I will unpause uh, the recording and let you guys know. I found the link. This is the new web page that I am working on with sites.google.com. It will have a contact us page so you can go in and you can actually request Lithtech stuff. And uh, so that's what this contact page is going to be for. I just use Google's embedded forms. Um, but you can choose it a uh, tutorial request, other specific game, or a specific mod. And I'll try to find that mod. Uh, then you just choose it type in your answer, type in your email so I can actually respond to you, and then I'll get back to you. These emails go directly to me, and I'll answer them pretty much immediately. But as you can see, these are all Google Drive links. Uh, I was gifted an unlimited storage drive for this stuff. So I'm slowly getting it uploaded, at least the stuff that I'm allowed to upload. I'm not sure how many boundaries I'm crossing here, but we'll get there when we get there. So I'm going to add 3ds Max and Maya to this, hopefully after this video. But as you can see, 3ds Max is finished installing. Open this folder. Oh. Don't open that folder. <laughs> it's 3ds Max again. So you want to open up the... Oh, good lord, I hate when key generators have music. Thanks. So what you want to do is request code so you want to go in you want to run 3ds max it's been a long time since i've done this where in the world did it go oh duh let me just go here where's the binary here it is so you'll want to open it up it's been so long since i've done this So what you want to do is activate the product, hit next, enter activation code, hit next. Oh, oops, back. So you want this request code. Simply copy that and paste it here. Delete the extra space. Stop playing music. Invalid request code. I bet you it's because of the space. Hmm. Try typing it in W2FY F4DV <coughs> CHSJ LY 63 E Sun R4KL Z2TC. Oh, it didn't get all of it. A3AY. There we go. So. Now, as you can see, we have the response code here. Put whatever you want in here. Next. Done. It is now registered, and you can go ahead and use 3ds Max 7 on Windows 10. Works exactly how it should. What I might do is, just so you guys get an example of a future tutorial, is I might make that source engine conversion uh, tutorial now not like during this video but as like the next video is like a preview and go from there so you can do software OpenGL you need DirectX huh let me pause the video real quick and make see if you can install that because you definitely want to use the direct 3d rather than software OpenGL so I'm going to pause this real quick. I forgot about that step because the last time I installed this, I already had that on my computer, so it didn't ask. One sec. Okay, so I figured it out. If you want to run it in software, you actually need to enable uh, Direct Play on Windows 10. So you simply want to open up your control panel. It's going to be a little different for you because I'm using Classic Shell. You're going to get the standard windows uh thing so you can just search control panel and then from there you want to have it by category go uninstall a program go turn windows features on or off 
go to legacy components, click the plus sign, click this, give it three to five minutes to enable the components for direct play. And as you saw, or I don't think you actually saw it, but I, ac I actually clicked cancel on that box, which basically defaulted to um, running it by software. So if you want to actually enable it, you have to go customize, preferences, I believe it was viewports, and then you can go configure driver, um, tell it to download texture sizes, stuff like that, or go choose driver, direct 3D, advanced direct 3D, you can do 9.0 or 8.1, you can do hardware or software, and you can do release or debug. So we're gonna leave that, it'll take effect next time we start the program, and then from here you can also, you know, it's 2020, you can put that on 512. And from there, click OK, you're good to go. Now you're gonna want to get the plugins for um, 3ds Max for LithTech. And what you actually need for that, and I should have been ready for this and I'm not, and I apologize for that. Um, you need to go to the Jupyter install. I believe it's in Tools, Plugins, 3ds Max goes three to seven, Alias is six to seven, Wavefront is four to five, and Photoshop is in here. So you wanna go there and then plugins and you want all of these. So you wanna to go to your install directory of 3ds Max, which for me is here, tutorials, setup, 3ds, 3ds install, and you wanna find the plugins folder. So it's right here, simply paste them. That's all you have to do, just simply paste them. So as you can see, there is a DTX loader for loading uh, LithTech DTX files. Remember, if you're loading a combat arms model or any, I'm not gonna say that. I was gonna say any Nexon-based games texture. I don't know if you have to do the DTX conversion with uh, like sudden attack or crossfire, because I've never messed with those games but you can load in your dtx texture files you can uh model export you can world export or you can world import there is no uh model import based on this file and i'm not sure this file type i've never seen it before i've never messed with it so i don't think it's yeah it's a dll file so you'd actually have to go in to the LithTech Jupyter install here. And I don't know if they give you the source code for those plugins. Actually, they probably do. Plugins, right here. So there's world import, but there's not model import. So I bet you, you can modify this world, uh, this world importer to support models. And it wouldn't be a huge deal. I've never used this world importer personally but uh, it is that easy. And then from there, you just want to close and restart 3ds Max. So we need to go back real quick to 3ds Max, start it. Oops, start it. <laughs> Excuse me. Come on, thank you, bud. Huh. I don't know what that one was, but that's not a big deal. So from there, you want to go plugin manager. Once you add those in, and you want to find the, who? Nope. You want to find <coughs> your LithTech plugins. Oh, that made it big. So where are those? I forget. So here they are, Max, DTX, World, and that one. So you want to have these always load in and you're good to go. So now you'll actually be able to import. Do, 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 do. So if you go file import, you'll see this is all the files that are supported. There's 3D Studio Mesh, Adobe Illustrator, Land XML, uh, DEM, DDF, AutoCAD files, Legacy AutoCAD, uh, FBX files, IGES, Landscapes, LithTech World, 
And then there's the Wavefront Material, Wavefront Object, 3D Studio Shape, um, Stereo Litho, and I'm only seeing LithTech World. Oh, this is import. That's right. So if you're importing, you can only do LithTech World. If you want to export, <coughs> excuse me. You can get a little bit longer of a list, but you'll see LithTech model or LithTech world. And when you're saving it, you'll want to do like model.lta and actually add the extension yourself. We're using Character Studio 3. You must be using at least 3.1.2. This update is available. No, it's not. You don't need to worry about that. Click OK. From here, you can actually do like the base texture. You can append animations. You can scale the model which i did figure out that source engine models you do have to scale them down i do not remember the number that i chose for that um you don't always want to use this because it does mess it up this is the animation name because you'll be exporting each as their own separate file and then force animation sampling and you're good to go so that's how you install 3ds max 7.0 next video will probably be maya and then it'll be 3ds max 3.1 for people who want to go really old uh and then from there i think i'll do a preview tutorial for no i'll do a tutorial for canon fodder source engine uh file converter to smd show you how to import those files into 3ds max 7 and then i'll make the uh or how to import smd files and then from there I'll make a preview tutorial after that for LithTech, uh, converting Source Engine to LithTech. And we'll go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys are learning some shit. And I know this is just installer videos, but some people have asked me to give them the bare basics when it comes to this stuff. The exact tools I use, the exact way I install them show them working, etc., etc. So that's why I'm making these videos the way that I'm making them. I want all the information out there step by step by step by step so I don't lose anybody in the long run and have them all confused as to what's what and where and why and what tool that is and all that. I'm sure there will be still questions. That's just the nature of learning, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.